Hey, it's Chris at the Bell Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to mount and use your frame pump. Mounting your frame pump is really easy. On the down tube of your bike are two bolts made for holding your water bottle cage. So all I need to do now is take an Allen wrench and remove these two bolts. Next, line up the holes in the mounting system and thread the bolts right back in. A bottle cage can still be run right over this mounting system. Just remove the bolts again, line up the cage, and reinstall the bolts. So we've got the pump mounted to the frame, and now I'm going to show you how to use it. This particular frame pump can pump either a Presta or a Schrader valve, but it comes set up to pump Schrader. A Schrader is the most common type of valve, just like you find on your car, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. The first thing you want to do to the valve is remove the dust cover. This won't let any air out of the tire. You're just getting ready to start pumping. Now we're going to prep the pump. The first thing we want to do is open up the handle and unlock the valve. Now we mount the pump head to the valve. You want to make sure you push it on firmly and straight and then lock the pump to the valve. To make sure you've got a secure connection, wrap your hand around the tire and underneath the head of the pump and then use your other hand to actually pump the tire. As you're pumping, you want to keep an eye on how firm the tire feels. You want to make sure you get it firm enough that you're going to be able to get back home. Once you're satisfied that you fully inflated your tire, unlock the pump head and remove it. The last step is replacing the dust cap. A frame pump is great for roadside maintenance, but we recommend you also have a floor pump at home with a gauge so you can make sure your tires are always properly inflated.